probably could have a little more flesh up in there, but we'll get back to that and add it later. Okay, we're going to trim her wrist, and then I'm going to go for it. I'm going to make a hand. Let's see how much I got here to work with. Yep. And what's going to happen is um, I'm going to trim so much off of this that it's going to get real thin right there. I've got another little wire somewhere. There it is. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the other hand where I have to pin it to her. Just right there. So if you're lucky, you'll, you'll um, catch that wire that's on the inside. And see if I'm trying to do it right through the center, I'm, I'm destined to do it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's permanently on there. Okay. And fill in the blank parts. Okay, I'm looking at her sideways, and it's really, really lumpy, and it's kind of long. So um, I'm going to trim quite a bit more. I hope I don't run into my wire. Like I said earlier in this tape, when you put your arm up against your body, it flattens out. Now that's the way it would be right there. Flat. Going to get wider. Going be up next to the body real tight. Her fingers are obviously going to be too long. Let's whack them off. Here I go again with the cutting the little wedges out. And you just got to get it centered. Remember, they're narrow at the ends, so that means you're going to make V's go in this direction. And you know what? It's really easy to do the hands once you've got them in this position and all that clay is out of there. You just tap down on the ends of them and round them out. And then put some little knuckles and things in there and it's so simple. I've only got time to do one hand because we've still got feet yet. But um, So I will show you the best I can on this one. Remember, there's a, a bone right over here. Tricky. There's a bend of the thumb. You can take your well, I had it, hardwood tool and push on the sides. It rounds them out. And this does take a long time. The hands, each hand, takes me an hour to do. Well, heck, I can sculpt the doll in about an hour, but her hands take forever. Faces, hands, and feet. Feet aren't nearly as bad as hands. Uh, these are really a bear. Flatten them out. Round up the ends. Put a little definition in them like they're going to be even smaller on the very tips. Really tiny. Flatness. See, see, once I cut a little bit off of there, see that? It looks like there's a knuckle right on that part right there. And this is where you really need your magnifier light. Whew. Big time. Okay, just let me do a couple fingers and then we'll work on some toes. Now all this has to be smoothed down with a little brush on the interior. Okay, you're going to have um, a, an indentation right here, an indentation right here, an indentation right here, and they all go towards the wrist part. They do not fan out like that. They they go in like so. But you don't. That's like I said, exaggerated. So, and you got to start. You get that knuckle in the middle, and you got a knuckle here. Trying to get one or two fingers done. <laughs> okay. This tool is oh, 
one of the most important ones. And this one has a little flange that goes like so, skin fold. The front and the back right here. The first finger and the last finger. And I'm obviously going to have to make that wrist smaller and stuff like that. So, But once you get this down small enough, try to work with the fingers so they look natural. No hard lines. That's the whole key to sculpting. That and getting your proportion right. Oops, finger fell off. You can see why it takes me an hour to do these. Okay. I can't putz with it too much more, but there's the basic hand. And the rest is just playing with it and putting a little more detail in it, you know, like um, the knuckles and a little fingernail here. It's so little. God. But it's possible. And then take brushes and go around the outside edges, clean the whole thing up. 